You know, how some, you, you know how you can know something is a cliche? When no one acts on it until after they're powerless. <laughs> <laughs> because before the election, no one was acting like God's in control. Everyone right. was trying to take control. Right. Everybody's trying to get you to vote for their person, their party, their issue. And, and even every Christian that I know that was super public, they're trying to take control of the election. So then the very same people afterwards go, well, no matter who wins, God's in control. I'm going, do you really believe that? Because you didn't act like that before. Right. And it's also a cliche, but it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's not just a cliche, it's a Western cliche. Because I look at countries like uh, North Korea and Russia and China. Do we really believe that God's picking those leaders? Isn't this sort of a, a mindset that we get the privilege of having in a free country where we're voting on candidates that even the worst candidate is not as bad as the people in charge of other countries? But that's something that really bothers me though is because some really big figures, whether it's in media or it's in the spiritual world, it's in the church world, will say that this leader is from God. This leader is, is, is elected by God to be here in this moment. But doesn't that only work if the last leader was also from God as well, and the leader before that, and then, and then our, the leader in North Korea, and the leader in doesn't. How does how do we change the rules? How do we shift it? Don't you ever feel like the Bible's? Um... Wait, no, no, no. I want I want you to answer my question. You don't get to tag on and just do what I did with the hand shifting. Well, no, what I, I am answering. No, 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 no. But I'm, Give I'm, me an I'm answer. I'm more like Socrates. I answer the question. Here the question. we are. See, <laughs> season two, episode one. You're already fighting with me already. No, it's it's because we use the Bible like an ink blot. When we like the candidate and we think that they're the right candidate, we say, we need to honor our leaders. When we don't like the candidate, uh, we, need, we need to stand against the government. And we use different verses based on whether the party represents us. And let's just be, let's just call it what it is. It's hypocritical. And if you're supposed to honor your leaders, you're supposed to honor them when you don't think they're honorable. And or if you're supposed to stand up uh, against your leaders, then you should be doing that even when the leader you like isn't doing something that he should be doing. And I, I, I think that sometimes we try to over, over spiritualize it and we and it's our way of abdicating responsibility. We're the ones voting. We're the ones choosing. We're picking our presidents, whether we like it or not, you, you know, whether we want to take responsibility or not, our nation picked. Donald Trump, our nation picked Bill Clinton, our nation picked George Bush, and George Bush, our nation has and picked these people. President Obama. And President Obama, yes. But, I, but people use it and go, well, this one is God and this one's not. No. What, what really so what is that? does bother me is when, when Christian leaders are going, God spoke to me, this is who God's gonna put in the office, this is you know God's person. I'm going, you're trying to use the Bible to act as if the United States is Israel. Uh, Israel had kings that God chose, and sometimes kings that the people demanded and God wouldn't have chosen. The United States is not Israel, but we have the great privilege of having a democracy where we get to choose our leaders. And, and, and we need to be careful of putting so much weight on whether someone's elected or not, because are we saying if the wrong person is elected for the next four years, God isn't in control? Watch it live on Hillsong Channel or head to hillsongchannelnow.com slash McManus to watch it now.